Alright, here's a quick and sloppy tutorial on how I made the dog with a hula hoop because everyone's not asking for this. And by the way, I'm assuming you have some basic After Effects knowledge because I'm going to rush right through this. And lastly, if you know of a better way of doing this, let me know in the comments because I'm always learning. So I found the original video on a YouTube page called Iron Man, so I ripped it and brought it into After Effects. The first thing I did was I created a circle with the ellipse tool. Make sure to hold shift to make a perfect circle. This will be your hula hoop. Then you're going to duplicate that circle on top of itself, so now you have two Two overlapping circles. Make the top one white and add a trim path. Make it shorter and now you have a little detail on your hula hoop. This will help make it clear if the hula hoop is spinning or staying still. When you look at the hula hoop in solid red, there's no way to tell if it's spinning or staying still in rotation. Then you're going to want to lasso your white dash layer with the red hula hoop. That way the white dash responds to anything I do to the hula hoop layer. You're also going to want to move your anchor point to the center of the hula hoop. That way the rotation is perfectly centered. I know there's a quicker way of doing this, but I forgot. Then you activate 3D on both the white dash layer and the hula hoop layer. Using 3D helps me shift the hula hoop to match the dog's perspective using XYZ rotation. And to make it easier, I opened up the top view. The reason you don't see anything from the top view is because the layer of the dog is perfectly flat. That's what that long line is. The flat hula hoop layer is also along that same line. Then I just messed around with the XYZ values until it matched the dog's perspective. Then I went online and watched a bunch of hula hoop videos and noticed that when the body shifts one way, the hula hoop goes the other way. The body shifts one way, the hula hoop goes the other way. So I did the same thing with the dog. Hip in, hula hoop out, hips out, hula hoop in. This part was very excruciating as I had to go through the whole clip moving the hula hoop and adding keyframes. But it was at this point that everything was coming together. Then I added a rotation keyframe to the beginning of the clip with a zero value, then one to the very end of the clip with a high value. This gave the hula hoop its spin. I kept changing the colors of the hula hoop till I decided on mint to match the green a little bit in the background, but I think mint is a classic hula hoop color. Then I added some motion blur to give it some realistic movement. I also added some inner shadow to give it that depth because remember the hula hoop is flat and so I needed it to have that curvature. Lastly, I duplicated the dog's layer and brought it to the very top and used it to create a mask so it looks like he's going through the hula hoop. This required more keyframes and this was excruciating as well. The second dog from a YouTube user named Tencent Head was a bit tricky. I couldn't figure out how to fit the hula hoop through his legs, but then I clicked on something on accident and the hula hoop fell to a good spot and I just rotated around there. Same principles as before. And as for the last dog from a YouTube user named Gerald Humphrey, I was already tired at this point, so I just kept the perspective forward, straight ahead, without shifting the perspective much and it turned out to be pretty easy. I hope this was very useful for you guys, and I really appreciate all the support.